Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is my nails again. Um, I have taken these down. Obviously this is this hand I have not done yet. And this hand I have prepped ready. So I've done my cuticles. I have done all of the work to them. I'm just going to just take that in. A little bit more. Just, I got a little bit there. I'm just going to take that off. There we go. And I got a little bit up there too. Normally I get that with my e-file. I've obviously missed that bit. I'm just going to clean that up and then we are ready to go uh, this is the nail that I did put a bit extra on it <laughs> and yeah that didn't last very long so I'm just gonna go with it and um, hope for the best really I am gonna use CJP I'm gonna use blushed today I have no clue it looks like a translucent pink that's what I'm gonna go with uh, purely well when I use clear I can't actually see what I'm doing um, so yeah, I thought I'd try this over the top. We've got the dinosaurs in the background again as we go along. Granddad has just taken the kids out, so I'm just going to use this opportunity to get these nails filled. And then I can't quite work out what I'm going to do on top because they're not ready for a full new redesign. So I know what I'm doing for my redesign, which is also going to be my holiday nails. So I want it a bit more funky and... So that's coming up later. So this may be a polished design. I, it, it probably will be a polished design. Uh, just over the top. So I'm going to dehydrate. And we only need to dehydrate where the natural nail is. Da, 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 da. And then I'm going to use my Pro Bond. I am using the Ultra Adhesion from CJP as usual but i still like to use pro bond as well because i'm quite heavy with my hands so try not to get it to touch so just before and it does kind of disperse around where you put it so but it's an acid free primer um i I don't know, I just have a little bit of a problem with acid primers. So that's why I don't use them. And this one works nicely for me. I've been using this for, God, well over a year, probably like two odd years. And it, this is still the same bottle, so you really don't use a lot. <laughs> it's very, very good for the money. Um, right, move that out of the way. Let's get my brush ready. Look at that, I've got some nice little ambient music in the background with my husband's game on in the back. So, yeah, I would say this is a translucent pink. So, if you wanted a natural look on your nails this would work quite nicely uh, we're not going to do it all the way down as always i always pick up too big a bead for my pinkies it's the nature of me that's quite nice actually Do you see what I mean? It's a nice natural pink. So if you did just want to infill over your natural nail, um, but instead of using a clear, which can sometimes make them look a little bit more... Uh, what's the word? A dull sounds the wrong word. But you know when you put, you put a pink translucent, it kind of makes it look more alive. It gives it a little bit of a boost and makes it look healthier. And it also hides a little bit more. Um, so if, you, if your natural nails are... There's some little bits that... And not looking so good 
then it works quite well because it will conceal a bit if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense Oh, just tucking that up. And I'm just going to bring that around. And then just walk the rest down. Oh, la 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 la. So we're just putting that apex back more where we want it lovely yeah i like this color this is a nice color hmm. but yeah i just thought it'd be easier to see what i'm doing to be honest and for you guys to see what i'm doing It's not too hot today. It's it's cooled down a little bit, and there's a nice breeze. So that's the other reason why I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna do this today because I desperately needed to do a fill on my nails. Um, Granddad has just taken the kids off for a little walk before the rain comes in later. I thought right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to try to get my own nails done. Because otherwise, it ain't happening. But yeah, you see, it's not covering an awful lot. So I can't just leave my nails like that and go, oh, look, I filled them. Off we go. They're going to be polished over the top. Um, the question is, is whether I go, God, I really like this particular polish I really like. Um, yeah, so I'm, I think I'm going to go completely different and I'm going to go for like a blue and a silver. Because i got purple and gold on my nails at the moment. Let's go completely bonkers and the opposite way. Don't forget, this nail always looks a bit odd because there's part of it missing. It will eventually grow out. Or, you know, if I if I cut them down and put tips on, then I could do it that way. But these are my natural nails and I kind of like them. Um, and as we know, well, if you've watched previous ones, I had some damage. So I'm just letting it grow. Just let them, let them grow, let them grow. Yep, she's singing again. Oh, my thumb always hurts trying to do it. Sometimes I'll actually do it in two beads rather than one bead. Just because I find it a bit easier then. Because it's such a big area to work with. Kind of depends how much I've got to fill. It's only a little fill. I'm like, going, mm, yeah, I'm going to attempt that in one bead. And just pull that down. That's it. It's one hand filled. So I'm going to let them dry and then we're going to file them. And as you can see, they don't require a lot of filing. I mean, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. 
that's my favourite one, that one. Because that nail, unlike most of the rest of my fingers, actually grows straight. So look, that one goes off to the piss. That one goes wherever it feels like. That one, mm, my finger actually bends. <laughs> that's quite a straight one as well. Yeah, so I like, I like that. But that one is my favourite. Because look how beautiful it is. Yeah, I know, it's weird. Come on, I can't be the only one that's got a favourite finger. <laughs> In the nicest possible way of that one. <laughs> hmm, that sounded a little bit rude, didn't it? Uh, anywho, my husband's just giving me that look again. She's going, oh my God. I mean, you'd think he'd be used to this by now. He's, we've been together for nearly 20 years. Oh, I've got a little something going on in there. Let's get rid of that. I always make sure I clean my brush properly, even between hands, because especially with my hands, because I know I'm going to carry on filming this hand. So it's going to be a while before I come around to do this hand. So I don't want anything getting stuck in my brush. So I just like to make sure I have cleaned it. And it's all happy. And I reshape it. Leave a bit of monomer in my brush. And pop the cover on. Right. Cover up my pot because I don't want any dust going in that. Dust. Lovely. Okay, let's get a file in. Side walls first, bit of the free edge. I've got to be careful because that thumb's still wet. <laughs> Perks are doing your own. See, they don't need a lot because the cuticle, I mean, that went on like a dream. That's beautiful, that powder. I like that a lot. Around, up the sides, up that side, ow, my pinky. Oh, oh see, I sat my own fingers too. It's not just my sister. I know she feels like it's just her, but it really isn't. I do it to myself quite often. Same again, to the sides, free edge, round the cuticle we go, little skippy, 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 skippy. See, my cuticles are a bit more robust than my sister, so I don't get a lot of cuticle, and like, I, it doesn't take a lot of prep for me. I just use my little mushroom, and that's it. Whereas my sister, I don't know, she gets a lot of cuticle in the in that time span and it's, sometimes it's a bit sticky sometimes it's really dry i don't know she just gets a lot and it's really sensitive hers whereas mine takes a bit more punishment to be honest so i'm quite happy to come around with a file and just do mine whereas with my sister you'll tend to see i use the e-file to go around just because it's less likely to cause a problem with her because she's a bleeder i still do a lot of the hand filing as well but i just come around with the cuticle and then the rest i do with my hand file because it just helps oh you're just so beautiful oh you're so beautiful It's like you're talking to your fingers. Yes, I am. Hmm. You hear the difference? These two are not yet dry. Oh, that 
one sounds like it as well, but that one was dry. How odd. How odd. Hmm. Nope, so hang on. Free edge, free edge, front. Now, like I say, this nail, when if you look at it from underneath, can you see how far that actually... Phew, So when I look at it like this, it always looks odd because when I bend my finger, that looks like it should be going straight. And of course it doesn't. So if I was to go underneath and file that straight, right, like that, it would look completely on the wonk this side. All right. So what I do is I could kind of file it from the top instead. <laughs> Because then I can see where it's angling. Ooh, wrong side. All right, skippy, skippy, skippy. Round we go. Ooh, wind's picking up. Something's going for a wander around my garden. I've got the back door open because it's nice and warm today, but it's very windy. It's nice to change it's windy outside of my house rather than in it, really, doesn't it? Okay. Normally when I come to do a video, somebody's got wind. No, hobby, that is not a sign for you to start now. Yeah, I see that little f grin on your face. <laughs> Okay, so this one looks odd because this tip, it's missing a little chunk and it curves just there. Oh, look, I've got a little money spider growing across my desk. Please, does that mean I'm going to win the lottery and can buy all these nail stuff? Yay! I thought you put it on. Oh, yes, because the money spider has visited me. I need to put it on. Good plan. Can see it from down here you see i'll show you this nail from the top the fact that we've got more there than we do there which is why you can see it kind of dip but it's it's not actually it's because there's a chunk missing from one side to the other side and i know it's not that noticeable when you look at it, but i mean we, but if i do that you can see it's like a mill or two out I'm trying to show it so you can see it right, with my nail file. Can you see that? And that little bit just puts the shape just off. So if I just keep filing that, I'm actually going to make it worse, not better. So I have to try not to file it because it's just missing that little bit that just creates the shape a bit more. Yeah, I'm using my wonky fingers to show you that. You know, people, especially a lot of the pictures that go up, you know, they have been photoshopped, right? You know, people do not naturally have perfect fingers. And I certainly don't. I am not, I don't even know how to use Photoshop. Like, people take selfies. I do not take selfies. I mean, occasionally I might take a picture of myself, but I sure as hell don't know how to filter it and all of that crap. Because it's not real. Just, just stop it, people. It's unrealistic expectations. And it's the same with nails, you know. 
yeah, you'll see a picture of a set of nails. And you'll be like, oh my God, they look so perfect. Why can I not get my nails perfect? Why? Because you're actually doing them on a human being. It always goes wrong when I do my thumb because I, I can't get the same angles that I do. Well, I can if I do that, but that's not comfortable. So, yeah, my filing routine goes to crap when it comes to my nails because I'm, uh, to my thumb, because I'm the wrong way around. I still try to follow the same principle, but I just have to do it a bit differently because my hand doesn't really go that direction. Beautiful. See, I like that one too. Right. Let's get rid of the dust. We do not run the dust. The dust is not good. Right. So. What I have in mind, just clear away that dust as well. All the dust, dust be gone. Remove the pots out of the way as well. So I have got a UKI gel polish, and it is this, it's a beautiful colour. Look at that. It's just lush. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I've got some chrome and then i got these little water decals which i thought were quite funky the only problem is i can't tell so there's there's one set that's white which you really can't tell and one set that's black the what i can't tell is if that is on a white backing and i suspect it may be so this may or may not happen because if it's on a white backing it's just going to look horrible because you will see that. So we may have to go for an alternative plan. Oh, dinosaurs. Um, but we're definitely going to go with some chrome. I haven't used chrome on myself for ages and I really feel like I want a bit of chrome. Right, I'm going to need my lamp which comes with the most ridiculously short lead known to man which is really irritating actually i'm gonna to have to kind of put that kind of there i'm just wing that a little bit oh we've got a storm coming in jurassic park right let's get some base coat and top coat so i'm going to base coat over all of my nails to start with because i just wow do you, do you want to make that any louder love good grief honest to god if it's not the kids um i always top coat over the top of all of these once they've been um infilled because i just find or well i, I kept having this problem where the I'd just go straight on with the gel polish and then it would start to peel. So I prefer to use the base coat first and make sure that it's all going to last. I am using Neo's base coat today. Do you know why? I just fancied it. It's the first one I pulled out. Oh, I forgot the smell of this one. Yeah, this one, this one has a real particular pong to it. My husband will comment on it shortly because he'll walk over this direction and go, oh, what's that smell? It's like, it's, 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 it's the base coat, it's not me. Like, yeah, yeah, of course it's you. That's it, blame the products. I am blaming the products because it is the products. I do also realise that I'm now currently having a conversation with myself. But that's nothing unusual either. 
Well, technically, no, I'm not because I'm talking to you a lot, but I was kind of having my own conversation there. And I don't generally talk at the same time as working. I generally voice over the top. But I'm not going to today. Well, that went a whole lot better than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I thought this infill was going to give me a right nightmare because it is—it's it, still quite warm. Right, in the lamp for sixty seconds. It's the final countdown. Do 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 do. And what I'm going to do? I am going to gel polish first. And get that sealed in with the with top coat. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm using chromes. Should I do the chrome first? Because otherwise I might get the chrome everywhere else. Yeah, I'm going to chrome first. Because at least then if I do happen to get some of the chrome on the other nails, I'm polishing over the top so it won't matter. Because you won't see it. Whereas if I do it the other way around, you can bet your bottom dollar... I'll get chrome on the top coat that's on the other nails, and yeah. It's nearly there. Okay, so if we're going to do the chrome ones first, I'm going to do that one, and that one is going to be chrome, I think. Or do I want that one and that one? No, I'm going to do that one and that one is going to be chrome. So... Because we're going to chrome and it's going to show, you have to really make sure you do a good cover with your top coat. And you need to make sure that it is nice and smooth. Because if it isn't, the chrome is going to show that. Same on this nail. So just take your time with it. Because of course being clear, you can't actually see whether or not it's going everywhere either. I mean that is the good thing about having some bright lights above you, is you can generally see then if it's not, if there's a, a dip anywhere. Okay, just let it sit for a few seconds. Right, let's get that in the lamp. And that's a 60 second. Is it a 60 second? Nope, this one's a 30 second. The base coat was a... Yeah, so the base coat is a 60 second. Top coat is a 30 second, which is quite normal. Base coat always requires 60 seconds in an LED lamp. of Whichever brand you use. I don't know why, but it does. It just needs a longer curing time. And then we're going to get messy. Because I like to use my finger as well. I'm like, yeah, let's use all these tools and stuff. I'm like, nope, I'm going to stick my finger in it. Because I can and I want to. And I'm going to do it. Look at that. And that's not covering. Now that should be a chrome, but that's not working. 
which suggests to me that one might actually be a pigment. Okay. Plan B it is. Um, and because that's not going to cover a lot either, I don't think. I'm going to have to top coat over the top. Right. We're going to now take the top coat off. And we are going to gel polish them all, just so at least I've got a, a layer underneath these to cover. Normally chrome covers quite well, so it's not something I generally have to do. But this one obviously doesn't. And I want to use this colour because, as you can see, it's freaking awesome. So you just make sure when you are doing this, you are only taking the top coat layer off. I think, you know, you're not filing everything else as well. Because the base coat layer has got to come off as well. Because it's now got dust in it and everything else. So There you go. Just go around there. You know me. Sometimes things work, sometimes things don't. Yeah, so you can let me know if you like the. Uh, it's basically alive if you like, because I am literally. I just press the button and off I go. And you come along with me until the process is done. And we have a design. going way too well, wasn't it? I should probably label these so I actually know which one's a chrome and which one's a pigment. Right, let's take out that dust. A little bit more on there. Right, let's get some base coat on these. Because we're still going to put base coat on underneath, ready for the gel polish instead. With the gel polish though, we're only going to put one layer on. We're not going to do the cat's eye effect on it because we don't need to, because it's going to get covered up. Right, 60 seconds, off we go. I will need my magnet. I even got some paints out to, you know, see if I wanted to do a bit of painting on them, but I don't know. I don't know. My husband's looking at me going, yeah, well, I don't know either. Why are you, why are you asking me? He's now put headphones on. But yeah, I can still hear the TV. So how does that work? 
he's got he's got headphones plugged into his controller on his Xbox. So only he should be able to hear everything, but yet I can hear stuff. How does that work? I don't know. Right. Let's get these on. Tidy up those sides. That's it. Right, let's get those in. That's a 30 second cure. It's so pretty. Yeah, the only downside to this is I can't waffle like I normally do because I'm actually trying to concentrate at the same time. Mm. This may be a good or a bad thing, I'm not sure. <laughs> and the only reason this is happening is because the kids are not here. Right. Powder time. So this time we've got a tacky layer. Okay, from the gel polish. And so we're going to put that, oh, that works better. Okay, so we're going to put that all over like that. And then we are going to rub it in. Just gently. I'm not going to overly rub this. It just gives it a sparkle. Yeah, the only downside is I've got long nails on the other hand as well. Just give it a gentle rub. Just a gentle one. Because I don't I don't want to burnish it really. I'm not convinced how basically as I'm rubbing, I can kind of feel that it, it's not burnishing like a normal pigment would. So it doesn't want to work like a chroma, it doesn't want to work particularly like a pigment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently kind of pop it in, and then I'm gonna base coat over the top, and I think I'm gonna do a second layer on that just to help with the coverage just keep the layers nice and thin doesn't need to be thick layers and as you can see wipe your brush before you whack it back in the pot Clean up. Because I completely missed. All right, 60 seconds again. Oh, this is where this is going to take a bit longer. Okay. <sighs> 
And then what we do, so we're going to do another layer of this and then we'll top coat over the top and that will seal those ones in. What I might do is just do the other nails first though because I'm not quite certain. Originally, see, I want the water decals on these. But now I'm not so sure. Mm. Just because if I then put the water, it's just more and more layers going on here. Because then for the second layer of the pigment, then I'd have to put another layer of base coat on, then the water decal, then base coat, then top coat. It, it's just a lot more layers, which I'm not sure I want to add because otherwise it's just going to make them look thick and bulky, which let's face it, we never want our nails to look thick and bulky. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that like that and I'm just going to brush off any excess. There we go. I'm just going to do exactly the same with this one. If I can get my finger in the pot. Can I get my finger in the bloody pot? There we go. Okay, and then we're just going to dust that off. There we go. Right. So I am just going to top coat over the top of those because I don't want any more layers. Okay, so let's have a look what it looks like when we top coat. Beautiful. Look at that. Wipe brush. Don't particularly want to be that sparkly, but you know. There we go. Right, let me put a layer of this on as well as we're going in the lamp. We might as well. As you can see, it's going to take a couple of coats, and that's fine, because I can cope with that. And make sure to cap your ends. Right, let's pop those in. 30 second to cure for them. And I can't decide whether to put this water decal on or I'll to use some of my mud gels. I 
I just, I'm not seeing, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Whereas I've got some stripes. Well, not, not necessarily stripes because I'm going to have to make them a little bit more. Because I've got to try and do this on the other hand yet. So, um, I think I'm possibly going a bit more those actually. All right, let's get our second layer on. Don't do your cat's eye effect until you're ready to put them in the lamp because it does kind of shift. Almost like it kind of sh tries to shift back is what I found. So it just works better. I know, I'm making a mess. I always make a mess with gel polish. Right, so now we are going to pop that on there, pop that on there, beautiful. Right, let's get those in the lamp, 30 seconds again, and I'm going to use that slant of the cat's eye, I think. as like my basis of where I'm now going to use the mud gels. But I'm only going to do it on the middle finger, I think. Okay, right. I'm going to top coat that one. I'm going to get this one finished off and then I'm going to come back for the painting bit. Okay, let's try this. So this is the Venalisa Mud Gels. Let's cure that. Yeah, it didn't go on well the first time just because I just didn't have enough in my brush. It's really kind of got a in there getting all the bristles and everything You see my hand shaking whilst I'm trying to do this.
あ、気を。I need to clean my brush. Make sure I'm cleaning because I need to use my other hand. Right, now before I cure that, I get my crappy brush, get a bit of gel residue on it, give it a clean, and then I want to clean off just where it's gone over. Go. Right, I'm going to kill that and then I'm just going to top coat over the top and call that quits, I think. And there you go, that's going to be it for today. Something a little bit different. Well, not really, because, you know, it's an infill. There's only so many things you can do with nails. And it's always hard when it's my own nails because I've got to try and do it the opposite direction as well. You know, wrong-handed. Which always makes life more interesting, to say the least. Kind of floaty, floaty, because we want to cover in those gaps. Well, there you go. Well, that's what we've got today. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.